Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav training series. In this video, we are going to talk about a default data model provided by SAP for Star Wars data in CAPM. So CAPM stands for Cloud Application Programming Model. And many of you are already aware of some of the data model from ERP system like EPM data model. Similar to that, now SAP have enabled a, another very powerful data model to explore and understand basic things on cloud application programming. And that is inspired by movies of Star Wars. So my favorite character in Star Wars is Darth. Please note down in the comment who is your favorite character. And in this session, we are going to see how do we set up this Star Wars data model, which has many to many relationships between different entities like starships, like characters, species, planets, people, and movies, of course. And we will see how they are interrelated. First of all, very thanks to Thomas Jung and team for bringing this model up and running in GitHub so that we can leverage that same thing right away in our Business Application Studio to create this data model. So let's get started. And you can see my favorite characters. Dialogue, favorite dialogue is also written here. Perhaps you would want to add your favorite character in the comment box below and the dialogue of your favorite character. So let's go to the system. Now, when you work with these data models, you get more closer to programming and you perhaps also attach your interest with the programming using these examples. So first of all, let me show you the data model. It's here. You can see it's called SAP Cloud Cap HANA SWAPI. SWAPI stands for SAP Star Wars uh, API. So that is what the short form is. And you can see a full blown documentation below about these relationship between different entities, what they have. So let me clone this. So before that, we as a prerequisite, you have to have a HANA instance running in your cloud platform. If you not know how to run a HANA cloud instance free in cloud platform, please check the description of the video where I've shown already how to set up a free HANA trial instance into the business technology platform. Now it's already running here and we are next going to create a um, new project, basically clone the project from Cloud Foundry, uh, sorry, from the GitHub to create our uh, SWAPI project here. So I, I'm switching to Business Application Studio and I'm inside a dev space of CAPM. And this is where I'll open a new terminal and I'm perhaps in my projects structure and that's where I'm going to clone this uh, entire ready to use SWAPI project. Let's clone. And for that, we run command git clone and enter. So this will now you can see clone my project and you can see uh, the project structure includes a cap folder inside and this cap folder has all the artifacts including service data models DB models. Yes, and of course the a very simple fury app for people. So that is a very good reference point those who are starting with capm to understand basic capm structure and also the artifacts. If you want detailed training step by step in CAPM, please subscribe our course on business technology platform on Anubhav trainings. So now as a next step, what we will do is we jump over inside the project. So I'll switch over inside the project cloud copy slash cap. And now I'm inside the cap project. Let me clear the console. And in the next step, you can just go and check this uh, package .json file, which is having also the built in commands here. You can see these are the commands which system uh, they have also configured for us and to run any of these commands uh, to basically package deploy and build your applications are already there. So you can run them using npm run command. So let's first build all our artifacts, which is what then going to generate a gen folder. So right now you don't see any gen folder here. So let's run this npm command npm run and I will do a build. So this is going to build my artifacts and you can see now a gen folder is created in the system. Now if you go inside this gen folder, uh, perhaps you will find all the HANA specific definition of uh, of the artifacts which is generated. And also in the SRV folder, you will see here uh, there is this convert data dot JS which refers to a uh, CSN JSON file and this has all the dummy data linkage actually to load our data flood our tables 
with lots of lots of demo data uh, for testing and for experiencing this demo data model. Now, the next command which we are going to run is to deploy this to our HANA, and it's going to create a Star Wars containers on my HANA, um, HANA instance. Right now, when you go back, you would see in my instances of uh, my dev space, we just have a um, HANA uh, schema running or uh, basically HANA DB running, HANA Cloud uh, DB running. And in a moment, once I finish the build, uh, or the deploy, then you will see this is going to get you a Star Wars container. So let's try now. So let's run the command. Let me clear again the console. And now I will run the next command, npm run. And we run a um, HANA command. So you can also do CDS deploy to HANA, call on your database name or container name which you want to create, but it's easy to use these npm run commands. And this will now begin the process. Now, as of now, I'm not logged into Cloud Foundry, so let me just first log in, CF login, and I would just provide my email credentials. At the moment, I'll kind of pause the video and then provide my credentials there. And the good news is you can test all of these things in a free SAP BTP uh, Cloud account, which is, which is free, yeah? So that's what you can actually do. So now I'm just connected. Let me resume uh, my screen and let's perform the command again for uh, npm run and HANA. I will enter and now it starts the build and this would also start creating a Star Wars container. First of all, on my running instance of HANA, it will detect there is a HANA instance running in the cloud and then there it creates a container. So a HDI container is something which is very similar to schema in classical HANA world, uh, and that uh, is what contains all the database artifacts like tables, sequences, um, procedures, UDFs, so all of that will be inside that container. So a container is uh, created per project, per user to separate the data from different, different developers. So you can see you are building kind of a very small uh, space in database where your all the artifacts will be kept and all your data will be kept, all right? So looks like my container is created, it's done, you can see. And how do we check if our tables are created, our data is deployed or not? So for that, you have to go to uh, view, find command, and here you will find a command called open database explorer for SAP HANA. You can search HANA, and then you're gonna find this command here. I click on it, and this would also launch my HANA uh, database explorer which is what I can use to explore all my containers inside of HANA, including the database artifacts which are generated by the system. And also it can be used to explore the data as well. So now it's empty. It's asking me to add my first container and I would say, yes, please go ahead. And then I can see my Star Wars container is, is available. I add it, yeah and now you will see it will add my container. So this is very similar to HANA Studio, if you are aware of HANA, and HANA Studio, it's a very similar to that. And if you come down to tables, then you are going to see all the, uh, all the tables which are created in the system, fantastic. So now let me just try to see some species, and I will say open data, and I would get here the details about all the species. All right, you can see right now there is no data. So as a next step, we wanted to also deploy all the data and push all the data to the system. So I switch over back to my BAS and I will just first clear. And as a next step, we are going to push the data to the HANA container. And you can see here, there is a load command, which is also given to you, which you can go ahead and execute. But before that, I would like to run an NPM install command to install all the required dependencies into my project so that perhaps this load command should also work next. So now I'm going to use npm run load and that is now going to perhaps load all my data. And now you can see all my data from the sample file is uploaded here. This seems to be good. Control C to come out of console. And let's go back to our HANA container now. So I will switch over to HANA container. Earlier, we don't see any data in species table. And if I just go back and refresh here, voila, I can see there is a lot of data now in this demo table. Yes, 
and you can see designation of all these different species species yes and average height and also skin color and eye color and languages they speak perhaps i can go back to starships open data in starships which is my personal favorite table and yeah you can see here the different starship names the different models and the classes of these um, these starships and manufacturers and cost and height and crew members and passengers it can carry lots of beautiful information is available right out of the box now one really interesting thing about this tool i like and the data model i like is analysis so i can switch over to analysis and i can say i wanted to know how many crew members can really travel on a different categories of starships so you can see total number of crew members which can travel are 36 out there the count of crew and which is a measure and now i can just go back and drag that's a starship class and then i would know per class how many members can perhaps travel and this is a nice feature which is very similar to uh, hana studio feature which you can use to build this and maybe i can also use model and maybe i say number of passengers it can carry so now you can see each type of model can carry how many passengers of uh, of the starships so this kind of uh, information is there you can really do uh, nice stuff here with respect to your uh, data model yeah so you can drag multiple things and you can see how these things are span across uh, different data models maybe i can just say i wanted to go with uh, let's say the class again or the manufacturer and now you can see a stack chart so this gives you a built-in analytics feature into the database explorer tool in hana and that's the benefit of using this data model and you can really explore a lot of these things so maybe i would just also open people because this is what uh, we also get a free fury application here right away which is having a association to rest of the tables in the star wars so let me go back now to my capm and we are going to start a fury application basically so for that you have a command here called start so let's run npm run start now that's going to start my project my capm project in the cloud and uh, i would can access this port now to open my application uh, with localhost 4 or no no not 4 so let me control and click on this and then you can see it launches and i get free audited services of type v4 and perhaps i would want to go to this particular um, particular fury application which is also delivered along with the uh, with the app so let's open and then you are going to see all the people's information in a beautiful fury application that's really cool you can per perhaps search let's say i go by person name and say jam get this some problem I'll just go back and this is the name of the person so maybe i'm not so used to it and you can just select and say go and it does perhaps some filtering it, there is some problem maybe in the app and you can see here all the data and when you click on one of the or you can actually do sorting and searching and all the all whole lot of stuff are there actually so you can see here my favorite character that darth water i click on it and then it will take me to the next screen for the details of this character uh, what are all the planet this originates from the height of the person the hair color the mass the skin color the eye color the gender and all the details are there and you see how many star films the darth was part of it was i think i guess four movies and you can see lots of the details that how many starships the darth is owning and the vehicles he is driving to all this information is is available and you can go to any of the movie you can see the director name producer uh, the opening crawl text yes you can go inside and see further details so this is a very good uh, starting point for you to analyze and get used to a built-in application on cloud application programming model and that's how you can start your journey with sap cloud application programming model using uh, using business technology platform i hope you enjoyed this video please do let me know in your comment box who is your favorite character and are you able to find that character into the demo data model and also let me know their favorite dialogue you like 
Thanks for watching this video once again. I hope to see you in my next session. Goodbye.